Coming up, we're going to be talking about Disney at the Oscars. We're also going to be talking about a brand new documentary with Bon Jovi. And we've got a little bit of an update on What If Season 3. But before we go any further, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. A quick news update for you guys. So let's start off talking about the Oscars. Because Disney was able to pull in 20 nominations across all of its studios. The big winner was Poor Things with 11 nominations. Including Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor actress and also many other nominations. The creator from 20th Century Studios picked up two nominations including Best Sound and Best Visual Effects. While the National Geographic documentary film Bobby Wine, The People's President picked up one nomination for Best Documentary Feature. Pixar's Elemental picked up an award for Best Animated Feature Film, while Flaming Hot picked up one nomination for Best Music Original Song, while Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was picked up a nomination for Best Visual Effects. Also, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny picked up a nomination for Best Music for Original Score. The Last Repair Shop was from Searchlight Pictures, picked up a documentary short film nomination, as did the upcoming at Disney Plus original Nine Eye and Wei Po, which will be coming soon to Disney Plus. Obviously, you can watch The Last Repair Shop on Disney Plus as well because they added that one in. So overall, Disney did lead the chart in terms of how many nominations it had across all of the studios. It's kind of a weird way with how some of the reporting gets done with this because Disney's kind of studios all get separated up, but when you put them all together, it was 20. Um, yeah, so they had a pretty big haul. Um, poor thing, Stephanie thinks leading the way on that one. But let us know, are you excited about any of them winning? Let us know in the comments below. And also we had the Razzies um, revealed on uh, Monday. And Ant-Man and the Wasp picked up about four different nominations for that one. So as did Indiana Jones. Yeah, so just a, a general kind of thing of, yeah, um, that's the first time anything from Marvel's picked up a Razzie, so definitely says an indication of the quality of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. I enjoyed it, but it's definitely not in the top tier of MCU. But let me know what you think of that as well in the comments below. Disney's also announced a brand new four-part documentary that they've picked up the rights for called Thank You, a Good Night, The Bon Jovi Story. So this one has been created with the cooperation of past and present members of the Bon Jovi band. It'll be arriving on Hulu on 28th of April. Uh, it'll also expect to be arriving on Hulu on Disney Plus, and then it'll be internationally released on Star Plus and on Disney Plus, though we don't have the exact same date. It could be the same. We know what it's like with these international releases, they're all over the place. The series follows one of the world's greatest iconic bands and its frontman, John Bon Jovi, and the documentary gives us a view behind the music and behind the man. Thrilling as a story of a once in a lifetime talent it is, it's even more rare that a legend like John Bon Jovi lets the world into his most vulnerable moments while he's still living them. 40 years of personal videos, unseen early demos, original lyrics, and never before seen photos that chronicle the journey from the New Jersey Shore clubs to the biggest stages on the planet. The series relives the triumphs and the setbacks, the greatest hits, biggest disappointments, and the most public moments of friction. This is the latest documentary series that Disney's put out on um, massive great big music stars. We've seen them with BTS, Ed Sheeran. I think this is a good step forward. I, I do like Bon Jovi music. I haven't listened to it for a while, but it was obviously massive when I was younger. So I'm looking forward to learning a bit more about it because I'll be honest, it's that kind of thing of, he's been around a long time, know very little about him. So that would be interesting and definitely think for Bon Jovi fans, people are going to want to check this one out. But let us know what you think of this upcoming documentary. Let me know in the comments below. Let's now talk about Marvel's What If Season 3. So obviously we've got the second season over the Christmas period and just as that series ended, we got a little sort of sneak peek at the upcoming third season, which saw Red Guardian along with Bucky Barnes. Um, we don't yet know when the third season is going to be arriving. There was over a two year break between the first season and the second season. But Disney has put out a couple of images of the upcoming series showing off some different characters So we've got in here Captain Marvel. You've also got um, Captain America You've also got some like Gundam style robot kind of things with Iron Man and Captain America Looks fun. I mean, I really enjoy the What If series I think this is just one that they can just keep going and going and going on Though I would imagine they might want to maybe just shift away from using the actors' voices to kind of bring the cost down a little bit so they can keep bringing them to us. I'm hoping that it's not a two-year break, but I'd be surprised if this one arrives on at Disney Plus in 2024. I'm thinking it's going to be next year. It's just odd that they're putting this out there, but, you know, we've got X-Men, we've got the Wakanda series, we've also got um, uh, just the Spider-Man series. There's so much animated stuff, I just feel like... Um, why to give us a tease of what if now if it's not coming for a while but 
let us know. Are you excited about What If? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. In our comment of the day, which comes from Jackamon, he says, Out of curiosity, do you think that the streaming bubble will burst anytime soon? Actually, I have a feeling it will, as the binge-watching model, while popular, has proven to have negative side effects when it comes to producing of TV series. So I don't think the, the term of like the streaming bubble or anything like that, I don't think that's going to come to an end in certain ways, because I feel like streaming is just going to become the standard way that we watch television, in the same way that we used to use aerial and then we went over to cable and satellite. Uh, streaming is now just a format in which we watch it and that is going to be around I think probably for a long long time until something else comes along but if there ever is anything else. So I don't think this streaming bubble is going to go and this, this, this streaming is just going to come the standard thing that's going to be the main way we watch stuff. Um, especially over the last few days when it's been really really stormy here in the UK and I've had to been watching like live streams of like ITV and BBC and Channel 4 on the, the apps because the area was just just all over the place with the bad wind and the rain so there are advantages to doing that but I like to have the aerial just in case the internet ever goes out but nevertheless um yes yeah, so I don't think streaming is going to go away there is however I think a bubble around how many platforms there are how many studios are making stuff how much stuff is being made for streaming I think that is going to be an issue I think we are now in a new era of we you know in the consolidation stage trying to work out how they make money you know it's no longer the, it's like just chasing after Netflix is off doing its own thing and it's been able to grab a massive market share and it's moving um, into a new um, direction and everybody else is just trying to wriggle their way around to be able to kind of compete because the one thing we do not want and I see I see a lot of people you know cheering on Netflix and they want net you know everything just just be on Netflix if Netflix got to the point where it was the only streaming service around, you ain't going to be paying what we're paying now. You're going to be paying triple, quadruple, and you're not going to have any choice because they're going to have all the control. And that's what we don't want. You know, competition is good for us as consumers, and therefore we need like Amazon and Disney to be competing with Netflix and offering competition. It would not be a good thing if everything was on Netflix. It's just not, it, it just wouldn't last very good for us. And so therefore that's why I think Disney needs to ramp up. I think they have to get this stuff sorted together so they can get this Hulu thing done so they can really start competing on a proper level with making Disney Plus the proper system. Um, and I think that's needed. I'm still not convinced with Apple um, Apple if they're going to carry on. I wouldn't be at all surprised if they eventually dropped out. We're starting to see now that they're kind of cutting their costs. Um, Amazon are doing a lot of cutbacks as well. Um, whether or not they, they, I don't know. It's like, do they really want it? Do they want to be in this business? They want to have the technical thing and they want to get subscribed to Prime. But are they actually like really interested in this? I think Comcast, if they could get together with Discovery could offer so. But I think we're going to get to a point where you are only going to have, you know, maybe four or five platforms as the main ones. And they'll probably slide down to about three as the main ones that we're going to have, which will probably be Disney Plus, Netflix and Amazon. Those are my kind of three I think are going to be able to um, sort of leap out. Comcast might be able to do something when they com if they combine some stuff together. But I don't think Peacock is in the mode right now where it's kind of at that level that they can do this. And some of the older studios are still kind of clinging on to linear to kind of still carry on. Disney needs to make some changes with that as well. But we're definitely in a big change. And I think over the next year or two, we're going to see a lot of the streaming platforms fall off. A lot of the smaller niche ones are just not going to be profitable. It would just be easier for them just to license stuff out. The way that um, Max is going right now and Discovery Plus, I think that's very likely could end up being licensed out at some point but yeah so hopefully Disney can pick up some licensing from other people as well because so again what we want is a competitive market so if Sony is making a new series we want like Disney, Amazon and Netflix and maybe Apple all trying to bid to get that one because if it's just the one platform they're not going to be making a lot of money and then they're going to start making less. We are going to see a lot less being made we're definitely past the peak era of six seven hundred plus shows being made every year that we're going to see a lot less than that they don't need to anymore they realize chasing that just does not work putting out as much stuff as they did lower quality just blasting it out those days are over we're gonna to have to get used to watching a lot less but also it that might work out in some favors because then you're going to be watching more of the same thing so the viewership should move around um it shows that do come out a bit more because of that that's the way i look at it it's like 
You know, if Disney is putting out 20 shows a month, but if they put out 10 shows a month, they might be able to get more people to watch those 10, and especially if they're better made and all the rest of it. But yeah, I don't think the bubble's ever gonna pop, but we're definitely seeing the, the, the whole idea of every studio having their own streaming service has kind of popped in the idea of, there's only so many people will subscribe to. But let us know your thoughts on this. Love to hear that in the comments below. Remember to go check us out over at whatson at disneyplus.com. Leave us a comment for tomorrow, and I shall see you guys soon. Laters.